Philip, thank you for taking time to join us here at Preaching Matters. Some people say that preachers in Australia are better at applying God's word than those in the UK. What are your thoughts on that? Well, some people may. <laughs> some people say all kinds of things. Oh, I don't think anybody can know. Uh, it's too far a generalisation to possibly know. Because who is it that hears all the preachers in the UK and hears all the preachers in Australia? Most of the people I know who are discerning about preachers are too busy preaching to be able to get around to hear what other preachers are preaching like. Um, my guess is, if you're in the UK, you only hear the Australian preachers who come to the UK. Well, that's a selected group to start with. And when we're invited over to the UK, we're nearly always invited to apply the Bible. So you don't hear us in our week-to-week -week expositions of the scriptures. Um, and so I, I think those kinds of generalisations are basically unhelpful. What do you think are the keys to preaching in a way that helps people change? Well, the power lies in the Word of God. And so 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 speaks of the Word of God which is at work in new believers. And so the change happens when God's Word is taken on board. It's preached faithfully, it's heard and understood, the Word will change us. And that's because it's the Word of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has inspired the Word and He uses His Word to bring about changes in the hearts and minds of people. Now, that doesn't mean the preacher doesn't have a role in the process. So, Paul, if you look through the book of Acts, especially that, you know, 17, 18, 19 part, you'll see he persuades and he argues and he reasons. But in the end, the power lies in the word of the cross, not in the persuasion or the reasoning and the arguing, which is his point in 1 Corinthians 1. Why do you think applying the Bible is so hard? Well, I'm not sure whether it's hard or not. I guess it's hard in the sense that the Bible is itself applicable. And so sometimes when we try and apply the Bible, we're doing its work for us. Uh, and so we think, well, I've explained what the Bible says. Now I've got to kind of add to what it, well, I can't add to it, not substantially. If I add to it, I will subtract from it. If I don't preach it in a way that applies it, I haven't understood it properly. Because to preach it properly, it must apply because it is applicable. It's written as applicable. And so to hold back, to be able to preach the gospel without then calling upon people to repent is not to preach the gospel because the gospel preaches repentance. And so the, the application really flows from the scriptures, but there's a tendency to want to add application to the scriptures, which is a basic mistake. What tips do you have to help us apply the Bible better? Look into the scripture passage itself and understand it at depth. Because as you look into the passages themselves and understand them at depth, the applications will become apparent. If you can't find the application of the scripture, I'd suggest that you still need to keep looking. How do we avoid the dangers of legalism on the one hand and not asking people to change on the other hand? I mean, both of them come from not understanding the Bible properly and not teaching it faithfully and therefore not having confidence in it to do its work. Um, the legalism one comes, though, uh, from adding application onto the scriptures rather than drawing application out of the scriptures. But it, it also comes from not understanding the scriptures as they're revealing the Lord Jesus Christ to us. And so not perceiving that all the scriptures make us wise unto salvation in Jesus Christ. And so if you don't have a cross-centered, Jesus-centered theology as you read the scriptures, you won't be reading the scriptures properly because the scriptures themselves are cross-centered and Jesus-centered. And so biblical theology as a subject helps you perceive what the Bible itself is saying rather than looking at the congregation and thinking this is what they need to hear. And so you then explain the Bible. So I remember preaching in um, the book of Revelation to a group of people who had come out of Confucius thinking and therefore wanted maxims for life, which of course would be legalism. And so about halfway through the book of Revelation at this conference, the elders came to me very distressed because I hadn't told them to do anything. 
But the Bible doesn't, the book of Revelation doesn't tell me to do anything. It is recounting what John saw and the consequential implications of that. And if you understand what John saw, you would know what to do. But they wanted me to spell out the rules that flow from the book of Revelation. And so legalists will read legalistically the Bible. Whereas if you read the Bible for its own sake, you will not become a legalist. Philip, thank you for taking time to join us. It's great to have an old friend of St. Helens here. Thank you.